Memory is the ability to encode, retain, and recall information. And it's something that we use every day. It's memory that allows us to remember birthdays, recall names, remember appointments. It's memory that allows us to recall the taste of chocolate, the smell of coffee, and important activities in our lives. Memory is one of the things that families who we support find most challenging following a brain injury. It's no wonder that memory is affected following this injury because of the way that the brain organizes and stores memory. Families will often report that their loved one can recall very specific information about long-term memory, things that happened 10 years ago or highly detailed information about their childhood. Where they're, while they're having difficulty remembering things that happened in the recent past, such as what they ate for breakfast or what they wore yesterday. When we talk about memory, we're really talking about different types of memory. Immediate or short-term memory is what allows us to recall information for short periods of time. It's this memory that allows us to recall a telephone number long enough to write it down or to dial the phone. It's often this immediate or short-term memory that is affected following brain injury. When someone sustains a traumatic brain injury, there may be one area of the brain that is affected. There may also be a hypoxic or anoxic event in which there's not enough oxygen to the brain or no oxygen at all. While this affects the entire brain, it has a very significant effect on a deep area of the brain called the hippocampus. The hippocampus is deep inside on both halves of the brain. And this is the structure that is associated most strongly with the ability to encode information and store it for long term. Also, the hypoxic event or the anoxic event can have an impact on the entire brain, which does maybe not allow the brain to function as well in attending to information as it once had. So someone's ability to pay attention to various things that their senses are taking in has been affected. And it's no wonder that that does not allow for the best encoding and storage of that information. Well, there's no cure for memory impairment following brain injury, there are many strategies that can be used. And families often report that these work well to improve the lives of those individuals who experience significant memory challenges following their brain injury. It's important to have a well-developed routine, which allows for predictability, which also will ensure that someone can practice these strategies throughout their day. Many individuals benefit from having a diary or ability to keep information in a written format. Not only does that allow them to later recall information by looking at it, but the act of writing the information down helps to further encode and practice and rehearse that information. Many individuals will use internal strategies as well. They may use acronyms, which each letter of the acronym will help them to remember something that's important to them. They may rehearse information. They may structure their environment in a way that allows them to have notes and other memory aids kept in special places that will cue them for some things that they want to recall. They may also utilize external memory aids, such as electronic devices that will help them to record important information. It's important to develop a categorization strategy, which allows you to determine which ways you're going to use this information. Accessing a qualified provider of brain injury support services and rehabilitation will ensure that you are seeking a qualified individual to help create a program that allows for the maximum practice of these strategies throughout your day.